Hi, I'm Dr. John Bisignano, the Vice Chair of the AHA Council on, on High Blood Pressure. I'm here today with Dr. Bolan de Chantamel from the Medical College of Georgia, who just uh, gave a very impressive presentation at one of our plenary sessions. Very nice to have you here today, and I'd like you to tell us a little bit about what you presented this morning. Okay, well, thank you very much for having me uh, here today. And this morning, I presented one of our studies looking at as a mechanism whereby obesity leads to hypertension in men and women. We are interested in uh, sex differences and we are interested in the role of uh, an adipokine that is contributing to a hypertension called leptin. And what we observe is that when uh, men and women are obese, leptin levels are uh, increased. And what we uh, demonstrate is that those leptin levels leads to hypertension via sex-specific uh, mechanism. What we show is that leptin elevates the sympathetic nervous system uh, in male. When we saw that leptin stimulates the production of aldosterone in the female mice, and that those high aldosterone levels leads to endothelial dysfunction and contributes uh, to the development of uh, hypertension in our obese uh, female mice. Then we are proposing the new concept that basically obesity leads to uh, sex, uh, leads to hypertension, sorry, via sex-specific uh, mechanism. That's a very interesting finding. How do you think this will affect hypertension treatment? I know there's many steps between here and there, but how do you think this will affect hypertension evaluation and treatment in the future? We probably propose that we might want to treat women with uh, inhibitor of the mineral corticoid receptors that blocks the action of uh, aldosterone. And I think that this uh, approach would be more effective at reducing uh, blood pressure in obese women. In fact, there is already uh, a study published a couple of years ago by the group of uh, George uh, Bakris showing that in fact in um, resistance hypertension, spironolactone decreases the blood pressure more effectively in women compared to men. And we think that our data in mice further supports those, uh, those evidence and suggests that probably in terms of personal medicine, we should then treat uh, women with uh, spironolactone or mineral corticoid receptor blocker, when in men we should use probably the, uh, the treatment currently uh, in use. It's very interesting and it really highlights a, a specific difference in how we may treat women versus men uh, with high blood pressure in the future. What future directions do you see this research going in? Well, one thing that uh, we want to uh, investigate is what's the effect of uh, aging and, and menopause on obesity-induced uh, hypertension because uh, so far all the studies that we have done have been done in uh, young uh, mice, but the question is also what is happening with, uh, with aging and notably the development of menopause because the obese population is, is aging and we expect that we'll probably have different mechanism in uh, older obese uh, women. Well, this is very exciting and I appreciate you spending a little time with us here today to discuss the, your, your research and how it may affect the treatment of high blood pressure in the future. Well, thank you very much for having me and thank you for the opportunity to present our data also at this meeting. Thank okay. you very much.